Airport Park is a year-round campground and perfectly located between Waco Lake and the Waco Airport. Campers can look south and see the beautiful lake and look north and watch planes take off from time to time. Airport Park has 46 campsites. They have 30 and 50 amp electric hookups, water, and 22 of those sites also have sewer available. There are eight screen shelters with electrical outlets and water. 14 tent only campsites with electric are also available. A group camping shelter is available for reservation and it comes with electric, sewer, water hookups. It's equipped with a six foot grill and a 12 foot serving bar and pavilion with picnic tables. Since Airport Park's located inside Waco, there's lots of attractions around the city, such as Magnolia Market, which is about 15 minutes from Airport Park. The Waco Lake Wetlands offers educational tours to take visitors through a six acre nursery of aquatic plants and more than 130 species of birds. It's quite interesting. Cameron Park Zoo, it's not too far away. There's lots to do here in Waco. So these are campsites one through 14 down through this area. So this area here that we're about to ride through is mostly cabins, one room only. Uh, they're screened in shelters. Beautiful area right here by the lake. Uh, for those of you that don't have an RV, this would be a wonderful place to bring a family and enjoy some good old fashioned camping anytime. We're going to make a quick left right here. This area down here is mostly RV campsites. And it is a beautiful area. I really do like it down here. This is campsites 9 through 15. And they have a really clean restroom with showers. Uh, and it's a really nice area. Let's take a ride through and check it out. One thing I've noticed, you know, riding through this park, it is very peaceful and I just love it. You know, this is winter time that we're here right now. And in the summertime when these trees are blooming, this is one gorgeous place. It really is. And, you know, for anybody that just wants some good family time, I mean, One of the things I really like about these cabins is they got them set up, I mean, they're right here on the water. 
This one in particular I thought was a pretty interesting place. Uh, it's cabin number three. And I mean, the view you have, <laughs> I mean, you can't beat it. And then right across the street, you got cabin number four. And it's sitting up on the hill. And you got a beautiful overlook right out in front of you. You see the lake. So these cabins, the way they're set up, they're pretty awesome. I do like the way uh, they have them out here at this park. Anytime you have an hour or more to fish, this 7,200 acre lake will definitely play the part you need it to play. It has bass, catfish, crappie, gar, bluegill, you name it, it pretty much runs a gamut. And there are some great tournaments every year at this lake. We're going to go down and check out this boat ramp. Now, the boat ramp is pretty steep, but it is nice, and there's lots of parking spots here for folks. So when it's a busy day out there on the lake, uh, they can find a good spot to park. The Corps of Engineers keeps this park in tip-top shape. They've been making some changes to the parks around Lake Waco, and one of the changes that they made is the boat dock. As you can see, the old boat dock over there, it kind of extended out and then it dropped down. They've replaced those with these floating boat docks and it makes it a whole lot easier getting in and out. And it also helps with the flooding problems that they have from time to time. So this area down here is mostly RV campsites, 16 through 34. Most of the spots down here is so close to the lake. I mean, you can just walk right down to the lake and do you some fishing or do you some swimming. I mean, there's lots of sites that are right here beside the water. Look, if you want a good spot to camp 
fish. Airport Park's got it going on. I mean, they got beautiful wildlife. We've seen deer, uh, birds uh, of every kind. I mean, even eagles out here. But as you can see, the lake is right there. There's some really beautiful campsites, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy this place. I know we did, and uh, we're definitely coming back, that's for sure. Okay, so this area right here, I assume it's going to be considered spots 37 through 42. Down there on the end, down there's 43. Uh, this is a group shelter, and it has plenty of parking here. Lots of room for families with lots of RVs, <laughs> or whatever you want to use it for. Um, it's group shelters for day use. Uh, rental fee is about 150 bucks a day from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. It can accommodate about 110 guests. and has a barbecue grill. It has a bar. It's all located close to the bathrooms. And plenty of parking you can see here. I mean, it's a real nice place. And man, what a view of the lake. So now we're coming out toward the edge of the park. Uh, 
just up ahead is the dam and you can see the uh, new roofs the new uh, material that they're about to put on the uh, coverings here they got a lot of damage here uh, in the last flood but uh, man these are some really nice spots and uh, now they don't have a lot of shade so the hottest part of the summer probably wouldn't be the greatest spots but man this time of year I mean look at this view it's pretty cool All right, y'all, well, this is going to be the end of this one. We hope we catch y'all back here next time. Hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. But until next time, y'all be good to each other, and y'all take care. Oh, go said so.